Hi there, and thanks again for watching. Um, I just wanted to tell you something. I, I wrote a post that I published today on my blog, and it's what I consider really life coaching or self-development 101, whatever you want to call it, but the very basic. Now, as a concept, it's very easy to grasp, and when I tell my clients about it, they all get it, uh, but I understand also that it's one that's very, very difficult to implement, especially about years of behaviour. And it's really this, and it's a non-negotiable for me. If a client isn't prepared to at least try this, then I don't want to work with them because anything else I do is going to be useless. You know, a lot of people, or I'd say the vast majority of people, treat themselves a lot harder than they treat other people. They say they have these conversations going on inside the their head that, you know, why do I suck and, you know, why, why is my life not going where I want it to be, etc., etc. And, and they say things... Excuse me, they say things that you wouldn't dream of saying to a, to a friend because they would have no friends if they did say this kind of stuff. So the, the advice is really simple. It's be kind to yourself. You know, the, the, the reality of the situation is, and I've dealt with hundreds of clients over almost an eight-year period, and the reality of the situation is it never works giving yourself a hard time. It may do on the odd occasion, but overall, all it does is damage your self-esteem. It... Um, makes you miserable and lowers your happiness levels and all for what for something that doesn't work you know people will say to me well if I do that Tim I'll go easy on myself but no we're not being kind to yourself isn't sitting at home drinking beer smoking cigarettes eating pizza and playing video games that's not being kind to yourself because that's going to guarantee you probably are in poverty uh, your health is is compromised so you can never be say you're being kind to yourself if you're doing something that's going to be detrimental in the future. But think about this. Everything that's happened into your, in your life up to now has happened. You can't influence it. You can't go back and change it. But what you can do is you can learn from it. But if you're being kind to yourself, you're more able to learn. We all screw up. We all screw up multiple times. I screw up multiple times a day. I don't know about you. But if I started beating myself up for every little mistake I made, I mean, recently I just put the, the milk back in the coffee cupboard. You know, if I started beating myself up and said, what a loser, you know, you must be losing your marbles, it's early onset Alzheimer's, Tim. How's that going to affect my self-esteem and my happiness levels? It's going to damage it. So, the, you know, the bedrock of self-development, of successful self-development, is being kind. To other people, yes, that's certainly important, but just as much to yourself. Because you're the most important person in the world to you. And you've got to look after yourself. So that's it. Very simple, very difficult to implement. And it takes some people or a person that is committed and tenacious and wants to increase the happy levels and get the happiness levels and get the most out of their life. So go and do it. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. And be happy. Thanks a lot for watching.